All right, guys. So we've got um, we've got the final interview for um, Launchpad, um, the Launchpad finalists, and we've got Yves Popin. Um, he's with Conscious, and Conscious has um, Conscious has some pretty cool products. So you need to check them out. But uh, the the particular product that's going in for the Launchpad finalists looks. Um, really yummy actually um so it's it's looks like plants-based sushi i'm i'm probably gonna I'm not gonna do too much description otherwise he's have to do he's gonna have to do damage control as opposed to just telling us what it is but um pretty amazing product and then a special thank you because i know we were laughing about it before but it's been plane trains and automobiles for for eve so he's been all over the place so we appreciate him kind of taking the time to jump in and, and talk to us uh, about about his his product. So, um, sir, the floor is yours. Tell us about you and Conscious and, and this Launchpad thing. Thank you very much, um, Phil and Kenny over here. So, uh, yeah, my name is Eve Potvin. Um, I start my first business in 1985 in Vancouver. I was the uh, the guy behind the... Eve's Veggie Cuisine brand. So I was the original creator of the first fresh veggie dog uh, in the world. Uh, and it's all, it was all about uh, bringing healthy food, convenient food uh, to the mass, plant-based. And um, uh, after that, I started another company called Garden Protein International, Gardein. And this is my latest baby over here, Conscious Food. Uh, we are a food processor based in Richmond, uh, Fraser Wood in Richmond. Uh, so we are the first, uh, our brand is all about creating, innovating, and differentiating ourselves. Uh, so we are the first uh, plant-based frozen sushi, uh, frozen to yummy in eight minutes, we'd like to say. Uh, a line of sushi. Uh, so we have California roll. We have a spicy California roll. So we make our own surimi. Surimi is a, a crab replacement. Uh, that's a $15 billion business, just a crab replacement. Uh, we have a spicy California. We have a tuna avocado roll and a rainbow roll. And so we make our own tuna in-house, plant-based tuna. First ingredient is... Um, organic tomatoes and second ingredient is konjac very healthy uh, very good for you good for the planet and more important because i come from a chef background it has to taste good and then we have a line of uh, onigiri and a line of poke bowl uh, first one in the marketplace to launch something like this uh, like i said been in the business for many many years and i think this is my best work uh, it's kind of fun because we have a lot of my team from my East Veggie Cuisine time and Gardein time. We're all together right now having fun, launching, innovate, and create. So, uh, and we're really uh, honored to be in a launch pad. Uh, being a Canadian, being living in Vancouver, we just received an Expo West uh, Best New Frozen product. Good for uh, you. Yeah, 10, 10 days ago. So, Good Best New Frozen not new frozen plant-based best new frozen and so we wow. were so excited to receive that wow. um, and so coming back to canada showing our product at uh, at the chfa we want people to taste it appreciate it and understand uh this is totally innovative and fun and just you know snack enjoy it whenever you want um so yeah that's what it is Adrian, you are you are a well known commodity in the city. You know that you've been around for a long, long time. Um, yes, Eve's Veggie was sort of like the first real major mm -hmm. player in mm -hmm. that sort of space. Um, Gardein, actually, I even I had, it, and I'm not like I, I, you know, I'm a meditarian, but I can do anything. Yes. I don't care. But it's I mean, I remember to a vegetarian. Yeah, I'm pretty much opposite. But I remember <laughs> even when that stuff came out because I was already buying at London Drugs. I was already sort of uh, in this space. Oh, and yes. I remember when you're launching at those times years and years ago. I mean, I don't think we yes. ever took it because the if it was it was frozen as well at that time. And yeah. I don't think we could yeah. manage yeah. it well. No, you but can't. No. Those two, I sort of it's not that I understand, but those are very um, traditional. What what moved you to to go more into like? 
um, fish, which is non-traditional per se, but even then the sushi, which is even now, you know, a step on top of that. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, the plant-based industry is fairly new. It's only about 40, 40 years old right. altogether compared to traditional meat processing is four or 500 years old. So uh, my first business was really to uh, look at what people like, what's missing, was missing in my life. You know, a hot dog, as you know, it didn't have a great reputation at the time. It was uh, bits and part of the animal that didn't fit anywhere else. And I love hot dog and, and there was no healthy hot dog at the time in the marketplace. And I say, why don't I create one? So, uh, and then, you know, I became the biggest uh, fresh brand in plant-based right. in North America. Gardein was different in a sense that Gardein was more chicken nugget, chicken filet, fish filet, stuff that uh, you would find in the traditional uh, fast food joint, but healthier. Right. And we had the proprietary technology. We had developed a know-how, how to make uh, meat fiber, la uh, like uh, meat fiber made a plant-based protein. So, you know, you go to a health food show like Anaheim right now, it's all chicken burger, beef burger, chicken nugget. It's all pretty much the same thing in a plant-based business. So, you know, I believe in order to be successful, you have to be, and I, I coach entrepreneur all the time. And I said, when you launch something, are you the first one? If you're not the first one, are you the best one? And how different you are. And if you don't have two out of the three, there's a good chance your product is not going to succeed. So, uh, again, looking at Vancouver alone, uh, you know, an entrepreneur absorb what's in the marketplace and say, you know, we decide to put the team together about a year and a half, two years ago, because I think, you know, building a business is like a journey that it's like climbing the Everest. It's very exhilarating. And especially with people that you love, that you care, that you have fun. And, you know, some of my staff, because I was retired, you know, I have a cooking school uh i and i i was retired and they say come on Eve, let's do it one more time let's do it and i said okay well if we do it one more time we're gonna have to innovate create and be different so we kind of look in the marketplace and say what you know fish we know in our lifetime that it's going to be all uh, uh, uh farm fish for sure uh, you know it's just a question of time like we know in our lifetime in the next 20 years 75 percent of the car will be electric it's just a question of time, you know, and there's a perception fish is good for you and all that kind of stuff. But we know we're running out of fish. There's overfishing. I mean, salmon was like forty five dollars a pound this summer in Vancouver. Yeah. So the cost of protein is very, very expensive, more and more expensive because supply. So we start looking at it and I said, what if we can do? Uh, you know, surimi, especially because they're running out of fish to do the surimi right now and 50 percent of the sushi. Uh, in in Vancouver alone, there's 600 sushi restaurants, 600 sushi restaurants. And so sushi has really become a, a snack food, a food that everybody enjoys. 65% of the population in the U.S. love sushi. And so we decided, hey, you know, sushi is a good, but nobody, there's a couple of companies in the U.S. that do frozen sushi, not very good quality, full of preservative so I start looking at plant-based seafood and I say, we need a vehicle to deliver the plant-based seafood. Sushi is a natural. So we've developed, and because of my school, I have a sushi chef instructor there. We start working with them, developing the product, flash freeze it, microwave it and return it. And we have a patent pending packaging now to return the product. You just leave it out for two and a half hour. And it's good for 24 hours. Fantastic. So because we, we control the pH, we control the water activity. You can't do that with fish because fish, no. I mean, you could have listeria or you could have E. coli if you leave fish outside. Our product is, is good to leave outside for 24 hours. So you take it, put in your purse, ready for lunch, ready for dinner. Uh, then we have a whole line of onigiri. You know, uh, Phil, you're familiar with onigiri? Uh, and most Asian people are, uh, and it's a snack food in Japan. You get on the train, you just, and so we have this, there's no seafood in uh, onigiri. We have uh, kale gomai, barbecue, Korean uh, shiitake mushroom. We have corn poblano with miso, and then Japanese curry. Again, very international flavor, 
Yummy, yummy, yummy. Grab Looks and amazing. Yeah, I can't wait to try. I, I yeah, I yeah, yeah we're pretty excited. We're coming hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please do. And you know, yeah. we were the talk of the show in Anaheim because we had a twenty by thirty foot boot. We serve over thirteen thousand sample, and people wow. couldn't believe. Wow. A lot of them, people say, well, this is better than the sushi I buy at the store, you know, and it's frozen. How are you doing this? Well, it's about know-how and about, you know, mm-hmm. when you have 38 years of experience, you know a little bit about about processing. and Just, uh, just so a little bit. By now, you might have learned something, right? Just, just a little uh, bit. Exactly. <laughs> a little just, bit. Not lots, but just enough. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a just little, a little bit. bit. Good for you. Wow. Good no, thing. this is really great. This, this so you amazing. are in the market, right? Like you're out there right now. We're just are... yes, we just launched uh, as a beta test in Vancouver. Okay. Uh, in about seven store, but uh, we quickly are, I think, opening the market. We have Horizon as a distributor, yeah. Uh, and we were doing in a pilot facility just to learn about the market. What it comes, what price? Of, what's the price point? You right. have to do your homework. Right. What's the price mm-hmm. point? And, you know, I'd like to add that this is the first alternative, like, you know, meat or chicken or seafood that won't be any more expensive than nutritional products. So it, they, you're not going to pay any more for plant-based sushi, tuna or surimi, et cetera, than your traditional one. Oh, and, you know, that that's always been a challenge when you buy the Impossible or right. the, the Beyond Meat. You say, my gosh, it's twice the price. Right. Yeah, okay, it's supposed to be good for your environment, but is it has to cost twice the price. So we took the equation of let's take the cost extra away. It's going to be the same price. Wow. And then, you know, it feels good, it tastes good, and it's good for the environment. So it's it's we, we take all the mark over here of how can a product be successful. And so it's convenient, it's healthy, convenient, but more important, it tastes fantastic. And that's that's the number one, my number one criteria, it has to taste good. You know, remember, we all remember the the, the phase of fat-free product, okay? It lasts for about five years. Can people say, you know, I don't care if it's fat-free. It has to taste good and Absolutely. this doesn't taste good. So, yes, I'm very excited. excited. I'm excited for you. I'm I, excited to I'm, try it. Yeah, I'm, yes. I'm really excited. I think the... So a few things like, cause for me, what popped was, was one hats off to you because I think to me, this is a more difficult category than most because sushi is something that we, you know, the U S might 60% might love it. I feel like a hundred percent of Canadians love it. Yeah, and like, true. you know, yeah. and, and like sushi to me is like French fries, right? Everybody has an opinion on mm-hmm. what is good, you know, thin fat, you know, um, Salty, you know, pub salty, style, yeah. no, you know, blah, 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 blah. Right. Um, so I feel like sushi is another one of those where you just have to have a really high bar because everyone thinks they know what sushi, you know, good sushi really is. Right. And then I think the, the really like the big, big thing is to be able to deliver that and then not have to sell it. Right. Because the, the problem with all these other plant-based ones is you have to sell it. Right. Because it's like, it tastes just like, and it only costs 30% more, <laughs> yeah. right? Like the yeah. 30, 40% more is where everyone goes, oh, I, so, okay, so I guess I'm committed to the cause. I should do it. But in your case, sure. it's parody, right? Like that's yeah. pretty remarkable. Yeah. And, and But really, Phil, we're in a convenient food business, healthy, convenient food yeah. business. So, yeah. you know, uh, you know. I mean, we were at Whole Food head office of Whole Food last week in, in Austin with the head buyer who flew from New York just to see us. They had a whole team. And the guy says, the only thing is people have to try. We blew their mind. We're going to have a whole firm food service program in their 500 yeah. store. And, and you know, uh, 50% are ingredients are organic, all non-GMO, et cetera. Mm-hmm. So, you know, again, we take all the box. But the guy said, this is like, you know, when we do the Negi Toro, he says, I think this tastes better than the traditional Negi Toro, so it sometimes tastes fishy. Again, you know, there's tremendous variability in sushi. Depending if you go to an all-you-can-eat or go to Tojo or go, there's tremendous variability. We have mastered uh, the recipe for vinegar. I mean, a lot of uh, of sushi has trailers, a lot of preservative. Ours is clean, clean, clean. But we are 
selling convenience. And from 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 your freezer, you can microwave one minute at your table. You can put it in hot water for seven minutes. It's ready to eat because sushi has to be eaten between 65 degree and 72 degree. Mm -hmm. See, that's why the sushi chef has always have the lukewarm rice behind and puts that's at about that 39 degrees Celsius. When he put the fish at 12 degrees Celsius, it comes to your plate and it's about the right temperature, room right. temperature at 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. We we deliver the same quality and and, and better, uh, and so we supply also the the tamari sauce. Our product is uh, it's uh, not only non GMO but gluten free, soy free. free. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're in a convenient food business because now you can have sushi at midnight, at noon. You don't have to go to the supermarket or do Uber or whatever. It's there when you want. And, and not a massive you know, time commitment. Like I said, you know. I don't think I'd microwave, but I could do the hot water. Seven, eight minutes? Like, really? Yep, seven, eight minutes. Not that yeah. big a deal, eh? Not that big a deal. Exactly. No, and it's, uh, not at all. It's an environmentally friendly packaging. You know, all the stuff that I think I heard a, a term today, the Gen Zelenio. Gen Zelenio. Yeah, I don't know whether they got new anything new. Every week is in who knows new. where we are now. Uh, well, Something this is new. Gen Z and Gen Zanelli. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some more oh, letters. Man. So, really, I think conscious is uh, for us, you know, because the brand conscious people say, oh, conscious, you know. So, do you have to be conscious? I say, no, you, it's a, most, it's a more of a state of mind. You know, you, everybody's conscious nowadays, some mm -hmm. kind of way or not, you know. To some degree. <laughs> To some degree, yeah. exactly. But uh, so, yeah, we're very excited. We're launching big in the U.S. Uh, we're going to be in about 4,000 supermarket in the next two months. So we're busy ramping up our facility uh, in Richmond. And uh, the whole team is uh, really pumped. I'm looking forward to we're, seeing you. I think, this is gonna be, yeah. I think this is going to be pretty cool. I haven't, we haven't mm -hmm. had a chance. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I think it's going to be kind of interesting. Exciting. Um, yeah. I, Very cool. I mean, your past projects I've actually enjoyed. So I'm yes. looking forward to yeah. this one. Yes, wow. I think this is, I think, uh, I think, uh, Kenny, this is my best work. I, you know, I'm excited for you because I, I, I could feel like you feel really, we're going to have to have you on the podcast. Like, we're actually going to have to do a podcast. Oh, we would episode. love to have you on the podcast. We'd love to have you yes, on yes. for like an hour yeah. to talk a little bit yeah. more. But yeah. we I'm can good wrap for this that. one up. We're all okay. over. We'll talk okay. to you at the show next week. Yeah. Um, actually, if people, you know, uh, this week. I, I, this week, yeah, this, week, this, this week. weekend. <laughs> now, guys, unfortunately, I, we had a mortality in our family, and I have oh. to be in Mont Montreal. Uh, yeah, sorry for that. Next weekend, yeah, no, it's just, so I can't be there this weekend, unfortunately. But we'll catch let's, up with you. Let's when catch you're up. Back, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but we'll catch up with your team, and we'll we'll go and tell them that Eve said we could have as much samples as we wanted. You can something like you that. Can. Okay, thank you, guys. Thanks, Eve. Eve let me before but, you go. Um, yes. If they want to get a hold of you and or where the booth numbers, do you happen to know it by any stretch of the imagination? I mean, we can find out. Booth number is 2034. I got you. 2034. I got you. I got you. I'm save. ready. <laughs> 2034. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm not ready for you, to be honest. It's it's okay. me because now I know where to go. For this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Right. Great pleasure. We'll talk with you soon. Thanks, Thanks for coming you. on. Okay. Appreciate Thanks. it. Take care. Bye-bye.